On the night of the 23rd of September 1916, German Zeppelins set out to bomb London. Because of anti-aircraft barrage, Zeppelin 30, L-32, commanded by Captain Werner Pettersen, dropped its bombs near Purfleet and began to make its way back. Flying at 13,000 feet, it was intercepted and picked out by searchlights and tracked by Frederick Sowery of the Royal Flying Corps. Sowery fired three drums of incendiary ammunition at the airship, which exploded into flames about 1am, eventually crashing at Great Bursted near Billericay. All 22 of the crew were killed. One witness described how in the night sky he saw a pink glare which turned to a coppery red, then a ball of flame emerged, which changed its shape to a cylindrical mass of flame. Following the devastating news that had been reported from the Somme, this is just the kind of event that was needed on the home front, traumatised by these new machines. By 3am, not only had local people rushed in to see the wreckage, but cars full of Londoners started to arrive. Access to the area was limited by a narrow country lane, and by 8 o'clock it was reported that this was blocked with motor cars, motorcycles, bicycles, traps, tradesmen's carts and pedestrians all jammed together. Souvenir hunting was prevented by a cordon of soldiers armed with fixed bayonets, and police but this did not deter people who scoured nearby potato fields looking for debris over a crash site of some 7,000 square metres. Spotting an opportunity, lemonade sellers set up their stalls in a t an attempt to profit from the gruesome spectacle. Another character brought horse meat in the village, which he sold as hot beef sandwiches for two and six a time. Sowery went on to have a distinguished war record as a flying ace, credited with 13 aerial victories, this being his first and most famous. The 22 German crewmen were buried at Great Bursted, then exhumed in 1966 and reburied at Cannock Chase Military Cemetery. A similar brooch to this is inheld in the Imperial War Museum collection.